All right, sometimes a redneck needs a cabinet. Uh, one thing I'm not is I'm not a cabinet builder. Uh, I could build chicken coops, pig pens, uh, throw up some, cobble up to some fencing when you don't have no money. I can do all kinds of stuff. But one thing I'm not good at is precision. Well, what we wanted is a cabinet so that we could store, well, canned goods in and stuff, but... Wanted to make the wanted to make the shelving unit big enough that a case of one of these quarts, yeah, a twelve pack of quarts would fit on each shelf, one deep, and I think it was going to end up being like five wide or something, four or five wide. But well, I had a pretty picture in my mind, but um, you know, I didn't quite get there. But I still got to put a face on it and. As you can see, there's a gap here. And the reason there's a gap, I think most of the reason there's a gap is because this piece of plywood right here is bold. Let me figure, yeah, that piece of plywood is bold. Well, being the redneck that I am, I'm going to take that strap right there. I'm going to wrap that strap around it. And I'm going to pull that plywood in to meet the shelf. Then I'm going to throw some screws in the shelves and put facing on it. But I wanted each shelf to, to hold one, hold a six pack, I mean a 12 pack of quartz. And I think all the shelves do. Let me, let me test it out. Bottom shelf, check. Next shelf up, check. Third shelf up, check. And four shelf up, and I already had it sitting on the top shelf. Top shelf is a little bit taller. Uh, the plywood's bold. Let's not look at that too close. Uh, my theory is that once there's weight on it, it'll straighten out. That's what they do with tractor trailers. Hmm. Well, I got the strap around and pulled it together. A um, couple of my shelves still didn't meet where I wanted them to meet, but. Well, it's as straight up and down as it's going to be. As I said, I'm not very good at precision. I could cut something, and I know I measured it right, and it's still not right. So that, that means I measured it wrong. But anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a face around it and um, and cut a set of doors on it. So, yeah. Till I get that done... So I'm get more screws. Cause I only had I had just enough screws to hold this shelf and this shelf. So I may take it to see if I can get it loose. I wonder if it hold. Well, let's find out live on on the on this video. Why don't we take this little old thing loose here? Let's say I can. Let's see. Well, it held. All right. So I don't need the strap around it no more. Here we go. So what I'm going to try to do is put a two and a half inch frame around it. And then put the doors on it. And you know, the plywood's kind of ugly. But what I'll do is I'll scrape it off, sand it down a little bit. And then we'll probably put a coat of paint on it. We do have some paint, so I'll probably do that. But this is going to be the plywood for the doors like a half inch and as you can see it's warped but by the time we get them cut down maybe i can cut some of that warp out we'll see so anyway on to the next rodeo here peace guys